tired of all your normal humdrum vacations? Are you tired of having nothing to do? Want to for once just go somewhere other than Hawaii? Then come to the Permian Age. With our special 50% safe time travel pod, journey back in time 299 million years ago. Sandwiched between the Carboniferous and Triassic eras, the Permian is jam-packed with exciting adventures in this little gem hidden in time. Used to oceans separating you from the continents you want to visit? Not anymore. The Permian Age has one giant landmass known as Pangaea. It's formed in the shape of a sea, and due to close proximity, everyone is peaceful. The lack of wars has absolutely nothing to do with the lack of humans, of course. There are polar regions up in the north if you would like to go skiing. Want an exciting adventure? Come to the early Permian, where you can zip line through swamps, soaring over the heads of giant carnivores. Relaxation warrior speed? Come to the late Permian and enjoy our desert-like warmth and bask in our soothing, possibly poisonous hot springs. Rather a beach excursion? The Permian has you covered. Inside Pangea, come take a dip in the gentle, calm Tethy Sea. Rather risk a little life and limb? Swim in the giant panthalassic ocean, right next to the first sharks and rays to appear on planet Earth. They're still figuring out if they like to chomp on humans, so you're probably safe. Love the science and nature aspect of our world? A die-hard botanist? In the Permian Age, the very first gymnosperms, plants with cones and vascular systems, appear. Get to observe these plants in glorious seclusion, millions of years before anyone else does. Ready for more excitement than plants can provide? In the last age before the dinosaurs, fascinating creatures strolled the earth. For a limited time, we are offering half-priced Lysosaurus hunts. Capture your own baby Lysosaurus to take home as a special pet from the past. Make sure to bring bug spray, as the first true bugs and beetles developed during the Permian. <laughs> Love dogs and cats? How about birds? Come see the ancestors of your favorite animals. A quick jaunt outside and you are sure to see plenty of synapsids, ancestors of mammals. To find the lineage that led to reptiles, dinosaurs, and birds, you're going to have to look a little harder, but seeing sauropsids in the wild are definitely worth it. The most exciting creature we have during this age is the Dimetrodon. Over 15 feet long and 500 pounds, this terrifying pelicosaur is sure to strike fear into your heart and the hearts of anyone you show your vacation photos to. This carnivore has two different types of teeth, sharp canines in the front for tearing into flesh and flat molars in the back for gnashing bones. Better not get too close. The craziest feature of the Dimetrodon is the giant sail on its back. Every time we send researchers out to investigate, they get eaten. So we're not entirely sure what the sail is used for. So far, we believe it to be a heat-regulating device. Maybe you'll be the one to find out for sure! <coughs> Come at the very end of the Permian to witness the Great Dying, the largest mass extinction ever to occur on planet Earth. In just 100,000 years, about 95% of all species will be completely wiped out. Just hope you aren't among them. The creepy part? Nobody knows what happened. Was it flooding? Climate change? Asteroids? Mysterious guests from future times polluting the place? While enjoying the Permian, be sure to stay in the Drinker Lodge. Named after Edward Drinker Cope, the American paleontologist who discovered the Dimetrodon, our lodge has air conditioning, spacious suites, free breakfast, and carnivore-proof walls and windows. The Jinker Museum is located here as well. Here you can learn about this amazing scientist and discoverer who named over 1,000 vertebrate species, despite never having been to college and receiving poor grades in school. He lived from 1840 to 1897, digging for fossils in the American West. Edward Jinker Cope is best known for the Bone Wars, a feud with fellow paleontologist O.C. Marsh, which started when Marsh accused Cope of assembling the fossil of an elasmosaurus with the skull on the tail, a very grievous offense. Cope took offense to this, naturally, and the two paleontologists raced to find more species, who finally emerged victorious. Visit the museum to find out. 
back in the 21st century but missing the Permian era so badly? Wanting to get up and close to some Demetrodons? Live in or near Canada? Most Demetrodons have been found in the American West, with a few in Germany, but the latest specimen was discovered on Prince Edward Island in 2015. It resides in the Royal Ontario Museum if you ever want to check it out. Disclaimer. All the time settings in the time period plot are calculated via radiometric dating. We calculate the half-life of the rocks around the fossils in order to date the fossils. This may not be completely accurate, possibly stranding you somewhere in time. We're not responsible for misappointments and moving fees. Oxygen for the ride sold separately.